Welcome back to the Reharm game. This is the final video in the series. We have reached the end of the series. We've already talked about the techniques, the hows, from beginner, intermediate, advanced, expert mode, all of these levels of the game. But in this video, it's going to be a short one. We're going to be talking about not the how or what, but indeed the why. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris Cadenhead. I'm a professional piano player and I drop videos like this each and every Wednesday. So subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you in advance. So there are basically two main philosophies that I adopt with reharmonization that really go a long way in my experience. And the first one being intention, being intentional with your choices. It's not about what, it's about why. Why reharmonize this note versus that note? You know, really think about how the listener is going to feel because a big part of what we do as far as making decisions is based on the listener it's it's removing what i want as the player and it's adding what the listener wants you heard me play yesterday by the beatles up front and if i'm playing that for an audience and the audience is familiar with that song there's a certain feeling attached to the way the beatles arrange those chords in sequence i want to be very intentional about which spots I choose and at what point throughout the performance of that song to start changing things. And the second idea that I use to inform my reharm decisions is minimalism. In other words, less is more. When I was growing up in church, you know, there was a guy who talked about the KISS method. Keep it simple. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, it's a very powerful concept. And it took me a long time to really adopt, and I'm still working on it. But basically, the idea is, you know, one or two or three changes can go a long way and, and really alter the feeling if you're intentional about where they go, let's just say. You can also think about minimalism when it comes to the density of chords. Maybe it's not the amount of notes, but how spread out the notes are, or a different note in the bass, like we talked about slash chords in the last video. You know, so there's so many things that you can do that don't have to be really complicated or overdone. Really think about that when you're composing and you're reharmonizing. Be intentional with your choices and realize that a little can go a very long way. If you've never heard me talk about any of these concepts at all, I'll leave a playlist right here with all the videos in there so you can go watch it. It's from beginner all the way to advanced to extreme. You know, a lot of cool techniques in there. And if you're a beginner, feel free to check out the advanced ones because there are certain concepts in there that you can benefit from as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.